Fire Alarm and Z here, and this is an update video. As many of you may be aware, I've been fond of analog addressable systems for a while, but have only just got around to installing one for myself. There are quite a few clear advantages of analog addressable over conventional, such as being able to tell exactly which device goes off, and the additional support for relays and monitor modules. I currently have the F100A installed. It's a great panel, but I already have my mind set on the Notifier AFP3030. Unfortunately, this is the newest generation of Notifier panels and cost over 2800 New Zealand dollars. I'm not quite set on spending that much money on a hobby, but I might start saving because there are a few very clear advantages, such as splash screen support, custom programming using a computer, and a different analog addressable protocol called flash scan. The F100A uses a protocol called CLIP, and if you have too many devices, this can slow down quite rapidly. Okay, enough blabbing on, let's get on to the system test. So each new system test, I will test a new zone, and today we're going to start with my bedroom. I've successfully wired up the house, but I'm not quite ready to showcase that yet. So in my bedroom, we have the FSP 851 AUS, and we have a manual call point, which is the Petronix CPPT AA. Let's start with the call point to set the system off, and then we'll reset that and test the smoke alarm. Okay, so as you can see, this is an analog addressable call point. And if you look past the text on the front, you can see I've labeled everything. This is loop one, module one, zone one, and the smoke alarm up here, Full focus is loop one, device one, zone one. Let's go ahead and set this module off now and we'll be able to hear the alarm. Okay, since you've already heard the siren, we don't need it for the second test, so we'll go ahead and silence alarms. Now let's go ahead and test the smoke alarm. Instead of using smoke this time, I'll be using my system sensor magnetic tester, because it's quite a lot more convenient, and it doesn't take a lot of time for the smoke to clear. This is where the different analog addressable protocols really come into play. You'll see the clip takes quite a while to activate. Okay, so now it's activated, and you can see that we have the exact address of the smoke alarm. So we have loop one, address one, optical smoke alarm, and it's alarm one of one. If I now set off the call point again, you will see that multiple alarms cross, come across the panel. So now we have two alarms. We have Kynan's Room MCP and Kynan's Room Smoke. Let's open up the panel now and I will showcase all the devices I have installed. And in a future update video, I will display all these in person. Okay, let's go status. Loop one, address one is my room and it's the smoke alarm. Two is my parents smoke alarm in their bedroom, got kitchen heat detector, upper bathroom heat detector, and then we're back to the first module. These are all zones that I haven't renamed yet, so this is left over from the old system, so toilet block, room one, room four, etc, etc. Let's reset the panel now, and I think that'll just about sum up today's system test. Okay, systems are resetting. I hope you enjoyed today's test video, and next time we'll go over zone two, which is my parents' bedroom.
Thanks for watching.